I've always found cafes to be a really good way of discovering a city or in my case rediscovering the city where I grew up because it takes you across different neighborhoods and places you wouldn't otherwise visit. So in this video I'm taking you guys along as I rediscover my city through a bunch of new cafes. I got myself a Thai iced tea. Um, so I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls in a couple of hours. <laughs> First, we are visiting Elephant Grounds, which is a cafe on the other side of Hong Kong. If you guys don't know, Hong Kong is split up into Hong Kong Island and the Kowloon side, and you actually have to take a ferry to get across the harbor. So I took the ferry today and came across to the other side, which is a side I don't normally explore. Bringing it back to this cafe, their food was absolutely incredible. I got their torched salmon bowl, but without the salmon and with two poached eggs instead, and it was stunning. It was just so delicious. <laughs> Since this vlog is kind of an in-between between a cafe hopping and a vlog, I'm gonna include some clips of my friends as well. So this night, I took the Star Ferry across the harbor back to the Hong Kong side and met up with my friend Sherm, whom I haven't seen in about two and a half years. And it was an amazing catch up. It was like as if we had not spent any time apart growing to be our own people at university. And it made me feel really whole. I am all for romanticizing your life and finding the most special places in mundane days, I suppose. So today was just a normal work day working from Hong Kong, um, but I thought that I would do my afternoon of work in this new cafe by the sea. It's called Cafe Arabica, literally the most gorgeous view from a cafe I've ever seen. Just, it, it speaks for itself. After this little cafe adventure, I went to take a dance class at Dance Trinity, which is where I took classes for the whole year when I was 17 and when I was 18. It was so nice to see my ballet teacher again. Um, and then I went pedaloing with Sharon, which is super cool. Like we've been hanging out so much every single time I've come back to Hong Kong. And if anything, we were close friends before, but coming back to Hong Kong and feeling so at home in her company, I think has just brought us even closer. The next day I spent a really nice day working from home and also just being more reflective about my life. I vlogged the whole thing, which is not up on my official YouTube channel, but it is up on my Patreon page, which I want to tell you guys about here. Basically, my Patreon page is a way for you guys to get closer to my videos and also just get a sneak peek into the life that I don't really share here on YouTube. Pledge as much as you're comfortable with or as much as you can. All the Patreons get exclusive access to the vlogs that I make. And the exclusive vlogs will be uploaded every single month, so every month you will get access to a new video of mine that the rest of the world does not get to see. Shout out to all of these Patreons who have already subscribed and become Patreons. Put Patreons? Patreons? Thank you so much for your support. Just click on this link to support me on Patreon. The next morning, I went to brunch with my good friend, Emma. We know each other from school and we've known each other for about eight years. And it was really nice to see her before she headed back off to London for her master's. And also just to catch each other up on what our ambitions for life were. It's, it's really nice to catch up with people that you don't see too often because there's so much about your, your values and the way that you grow. Um, that's changed since the last time you saw them. Overall, my trip back to Hong Kong was pretty uneventful because I was working a lot of the time, but the flexibility of working from Hong Kong gave me the chance to see so many people that I missed so, so much. And it gave me a chance to recalibrate what I thought about my life in Taipei, the things to be grateful for, the things that I've grown familiar with. 
And yeah, thank you so much for joining me on my cafe hopping and reflective vlog. And I will see you guys next week. Also, if you haven't yet, hop on Patreon and check it out. Bye.